Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I've been getting some really positive comments uh, about my car, uh, the Lexus, and uh, you know I really appreciate everything that you guys have said. And of course, I will, I will put out a whole bunch more videos for you guys. Um, but I thought I'd start with a, just kind of a general walkthrough of the car. I just washed it, so it looks a little bit better. Um, but uh, I'll just kind of show you what I have on the car, and then I'll go in more detail later on with more videos um, about. I guess each part, uh, but the front is a walled splitter. Everything else is pretty much OEM. Uh, here are the HRE wheels that I have. Um, these were, I guess, the concave designs from 2013, back when it was a popular uh, type of wheel. I don't think they really make these anymore because the style is a little bit um, not as desirable. And then I've got the uh, 10th anniversary GSF. Uh, front brake calipers. Um, the rotors and the brake pads themselves are pretty stock. Um, the wheels I did clean, though they look a little bit better, but uh, of course the ones you saw before in the previous videos had tons of brake dust. Um, the side skirts were a little bit more of a custom job. They are uh, TRD side skirts with the walled side skirts as well. Um, as you can tell the TRD is this piece up here and then the bottom piece is the walled uh, side skirt. And then uh, in the rear, uh, pretty much stuck with uh, OEM, um, except for the rotor, uh, which is a StopTech rotor. Um, I actually want to replace it with a regular rotor. Um, I don't think it looks too great, and I don't think it's necessary. Um, and then there's the OEM Brembo brake pad. The rear is pretty much all stock as well. Uh, it is, uh, basically has the walled back bumper cover. Um, you have to remove the old diffuser, put this one in. Um, stock exhaust. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is OEM Plus, nothing special, uh, but I think it's a good look for luxury cars. All right, guys, talk to you later. How you doing? Um, so there were a couple things I did forget to mention about the car um, that I did want to talk about, which were the uh, performance aspects. Um, they were the Swiss Sport Springs. Oh, let me see if I can get, you can see a little bit of it. It's the, uh, obviously that red coil spring in the back. And then also the FIGS Engineering. Um, see if I can get better light there. I zoom in. Um, also the FIGS Engineering uh, control arm. That's that piece right there. Uh, that's actually forged aluminum. Also, um, for those of you that don't have folding mirrors, um, it's a great modification. Uh, let me go ahead and activate that. Just hold my hand, open the door, and then there it is right there. Opens up and it closes um, as well. Uh, something I do want to mention, I'm um, just kind of seeing it, is the uh, that blind spot mirror right there. In, in addition to the to the BSM system I already have, um, it's just kind of like a, you know, um, belt with suspenders, I guess, just to be safe. I, I always recommend safety first, so, you know. And then, of course, I have the uh, rear and front. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm like stuck in my garage. <laughs> I have the rear and front Yamaha damper system. Um, as part of the system. Uh, those are great as well. Uh, and then uh, also I have the F-Sport, um, I don't know what that's called, down spotlight or something? Um, that, that, comes with, uh, that, that comes with the GSS and RCS. I think it was some special anniversary thing that came out as well. And then um, of course I got the illuminated door sills. Um, so, anyways, that's pretty much it. I'll go in a little bit more depth with everything, um, you know, later on with the videos. So, anyways, I uh, just want to let you guys know. All right, talk to you later.